Hey guys, it's Effectred. I'm uh, back after quite a while of from making a YouTube video. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this game's a pretty good game I had a few days ago in My Yak Panther 2 on uh, Malinovka playing with one of my friends. So, here. Uh, let's go. Let me speed this up while we're uh, going through this. So, right away I start heading over towards the eastern part of the map. There's people getting lit at the base. I could stop and fire at them, but I just don't want to get shot and killed really, really early in the game. So, I just keep moving. Uh, I'm heading over here to uh, about the E889 area on that little hill off to my left there. That's where I'm going. I'm going to hide in those bushes and snipe across the field to the slow moving tanks that are going to be going up the hill over there. This is actually one of the first games I played when I rebought my uh, Yag Panther 2 back after not having it for quite a while. And my first shot um, is, was a pretty poor one I believe. I don't think I aimed it much. I think I was just trying to hit this IS-3 as he was going up the hill and I just completely missed him entire side of his tank showing I I blind fired and didn't get anywhere close to him now they're getting spotted as they move up there's that IS-3 sitting over there at C7 uh, T-32 is moving up the hill now I'm waiting so that I can have a shot on him perfect side shot hit him for 517 this gun hits really really hard it's the uh, same gun that you would get on the E-75 just at tier 8 on a tank destroyer. This KV-4 is parked out side on to me so I take the shot. That shot actually hit him and penetrated as we can see. He took quite a few more shots than what I dealt to him. That IS-3 I can't hit him. Uh, another KV-4 pops up. Stops or he didn't stop but he's moving into the same position. I hit him for uh, I think it was like 472. I could be wrong, and then I, but I lit him on fire also, and he burned uh, 1400 damage in a very very short amount of time. So that IS3 in the middle is taking damage. My friends over at uh, F5, he's spotting the people in the uh, enemy base for our team. Uh, they have made it up on the hill, and there's only one guy on the hill. Um, he's not going to last very long up there. I should have probably moved to support him, but I didn't, which is my mistake. And then this is like the worst shot ever right here. Hit the very back end of the KV-1S's turret and it just bounced right off. I'm pretty sure that's an auto bounce. KV, uh, I gotta take a shot at the T-29. Not a very well aimed shot, doesn't even hit him. Uh, I'm just looking behind me to make sure I have a room to back up because the hill's gone. So I can back up more into these bushes, be uh, more concealed. IS-3 comes out. Terrible shot. Hits him right in the side, in the turret cheek. Never going to pin. Bounces right off. That IS-3 in the middle there is almost dead. I move forward so I can see through these trees a little bit better so I can better aim my shots. Waiting for them to pop back up on the, uh, where I can see them. T-32 pops up. Don't have a very good shot on him. I doubt I would be able to hit his cupola from here. So, in a second, I'm going to notice there's not, the IS-3 is right there. He drives forward, which is his mistake, and I kill him for the rest of his remaining health, which was 321. This uh, T-32 up there, he's in a really, really strong location. He can shoot down on us using his gun depression. We can't really pin him at all. Not a very good shot on the T-29. I probably could have shot him in the hatch, but I don't think he would have pinned. Not, and even if it did, um, uh, it, prob it probably wouldn't have hit him at all. Um... So yeah, nothing's lit. There's the T-32. He's back up on the uh, the map. I don't have a shot on him. KV-1S is rushing back down. The T-29 just is in a terrible position. I fire. I kill him. I turn. 
Uh, KV-1S is pulled down to where that IS-3 was. I killed this this KV-4 across the map here. Then uh, I believe I killed... No, um, I don't think I killed the KV-1S. I think the team gets him. He's in a really bad location. He can't help out his team members at all. I try to kill this, or I try to shoot this guy, but he, I just, no, it's not going to happen. Now, the first point of damage I take is when I move up to start engaging this T-32, because I'm never going to be able to, like, kill him from down here, because he's in a really, really good location on top of a hill, just shooting down on us using his gun mallet to uh, block all of our shots. So I start moving forward. I take one hit right up, then just a second, it's going to go right through the upper plate. There we go. I just keep moving. I don't want to just get caught out in the middle of the open field. He's on really low health now, 275, I believe. Yeah, I'm, he's a one shot for me. I'm going to speed it up here as I go up this hill. Thing's not the fastest going up hills. He bounces one off the side of my tank. Kind of lucky for me. I move up to get a shot on him. Aim in, aim in. Have to back up a little bit to get a gun depression. He shoots me once. I kill him. All that's left on the enemy team is a panther on the other side of the map. And I'm never going to make it over there. I don't care if this thing's that fast or not. Yeah, he's dead. So, yeah. Pretty good game I had in my... Uh, Yag Panther, uh, let's check out some stats. Okay, for some reason I can't get the stats to actually record, but I can tell you that I made 63,000 credits, uh, 1,677 XP, that's not a double, that was, it was 1,300 base with a premium account, plus 335 uh, of a, um, something that some special event I guess we did 3067 uh, damage uh, fired 11 shots nine hit seven pinned uh, we only received three hits and two of those pinned one of them bounced um, yeah came out of that with a 46 uh, grand uh, increase in profits so yeah but that's the stats I'll link the uh, what replace dot and, uh, dot com thing in the description so that you can see. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time.